see it there if you know Spring Hill Road it's just south of the new uh, mini storage uh, complex that it's gone in and uh, this is the area that is uh, our 
Spring Hill, our city limits uh, abuts uh, Benton. That's what that red line is up there on the screen. Um, so one thing that I wanted to, to notate about this is that it's got, it does have commercial on the north and it has commercial uh, across the street line. Um, so there is uh, some commercial in the area um, right here. <coughs> That is it for me, unless you got any specific questions. The commission, uh, questions for Truth, please. Is there a police engineer here tonight? I believe so. Please state your name and Philip Lewis, Bill Police Engineering. Can you share with us about your question, please? It's uh, going to end up being a 19 lot subdivision. <clears throat> it's just a single street in with the flat up there, but interiors turnarounds for the fire department access. We've already worked that through the fire chief. Uh, we've been through two DRCs and feel like we've worked out all the specifics, the requirements for the city, utilities, etc. We've got a wide spring hill road. As the mini storage facility did when that was a 12 foot bike path on our side. Widening half street improvements to Spring Hill Road on our side. <coughs> Relocation of an existing 8 inch for force main with a 12 inch force main. That's what there's a force main on our side of the road. And there's also, we found the last CRC meeting they're imposing today, the city is imposing $750 per lot. Uh, impact fee having to do with the sewer because I think the gravity sewer downstream of there they were saying they got some work to do on that. So the owner's here as well, one of the owners, and he they've agreed to that with all the work that's been done for us so far to meet the staff approval of our requirements. Mr. Commissioners have any questions for Lewis Engineering about this property? Can I can also speak to the way that the sidewalks are sure. put together? The side. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we, can we wait until that portion? Oh, sure. I apologize. Yeah, I was, I was going to make so, but this okay. this decision right here is just for the use of the property. <laughs> oh, correct. We're getting the into to a lot more of the side plan stuff. Uh, so <laughs> at, later on. Yeah. At this point, uh, this consideration is just for the use of the property and the rezoning of that going from residential or from from one form of residential to the other. Um, so uh, right now, it's just decided to use it. And what's the zone immediately to the south of this property? Uh, that would be, I believe it's residential. Uh, Colby, you want to turn on the zoning layer? Explain to us what the R2, what you get with it, what it currently is, and what you yeah. change it to. So R2 is our, our largest zoning district um, as far as lot size goes. Um, and then our R1S is our smaller. Now the difference, I think a key difference to point out between R1 and R1S, so what they're requesting in the R1S is R1, the S is single family. Um, so with that, the use is strictly single family. Um, so in this zone, you wouldn't be able to build uh, duplexes or, or something like that. It, uh, single family is just single family homes that can be, can be inside R1. The dimensions, the prime, yes, sir. And primarily, well, it's 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 a long lot, but it's not super wide. But we have enough room for single street lots on one side, six thousand square foot lot, sixty by sixty wide, one hundred deep. I believe the R one S, R one and R one S is six thousand. Six thousand square feet. And the R two is a minimum of nine. Um, so that's what it's moving from. The requirement of doing that nine thousand square foot lot um, to the six thousand, but still. Requiring that it be single family. Correct. Sure. It just doesn't feed into that commercial nose area that we kind of always identify as commercial area. Um, I believe we did put a commercial node in the area there um, as far as uh, across the street from Gina's mm -hmm. Catering, which I believe is the, the, the business <laughs> over in Denton, and then um, right there with uh, um, yeah, the mini storage. So it, it's point of pointing out the commercial is that it's, it, it is there, um, uh, but the, the, the distance of where, how far that commercial goes is up to the commission. So this would kind of stop it from going south. Well, yeah, 
this would not be commercial. They find the boundary of the thing. Correct. Good question. Anyone else have a question? <coughs> Thank you. If anyone would like to speak for or against uh, the changing of the rezoning, please come forward. Please come forward, sir. Sign up, sign up sheet on the your podium. Yes, it is. <coughs> <coughs> if you would please state your name and address. Philip Ives, uh, 4225 Front Drive. And also write it down there for the record for future reference. Uh, my concern about this is that property joins, the back of that property joins the back of my property. I live in Spring Hill Acres. And I get all the water from that property. And it's all I can stand. So I got a 16 inch high on my drive, runs up to my shop. And we get these rains now, it's full, it's full, running full capacity. I can't stand any more water. So that's my concern. Where's your property located? Uh, right, mine should be in the, uh, be the uh, south, southeast corner. I believe there's a detention pond that you put in. Yeah, there's a little pond back there. Well, it's, that pond's been there forever. Uh, but it has to be back up for a hundred year flood. Well, like I say, that's what happened. It gets full and then it runs over right on the fence, right in on me. That's all the cool thing I got to say. So, are you for the rezoning or against the rezoning? Or? I'm against it myself. Okay, thank you. Anyone else like to speak for or against the rezoning? Commissioner, do you have any other questions? This time, uh, do roll call vote to rezone 4214 Spring Hill Road, Bryan, Arkansas, from an R-2 <coughs> to an R-1.S. <coughs> All right. Uh, Burgess? Yes. Penfield? Yes. Mayfield? Yes. Oh? Yes. Front? Yes. Yeah. Staffing? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Harlan? Yes. <coughs> Rezoning is approved from an R-2 to an R-1.S. We will follow up <coughs> in our new business with the uh, preliminary plan approval later on. Uh, the next item, Cornerstone Monastery Christian Academy 4910 Springville Road has been pulled by the applicant. So y'all can mark that off your list, please. This time, we're going to open up Public comment uh, due to the uh, one of the items in the new business. What we're asking is uh, a three-minute time limit for each person who speaks. Uh, there's no, there's not going to be a proxy or giving of time. And we'd like you to state your name and address when you come forward. Uh, one thing that we usually do not allow comments except in a public hearing situation. And so at this time, uh, we'd like to just have comments and please do not continue to repeat what someone else has already said at this time. So, Good on. evening, uh, my name is Josh Farmer. I'm the Bryant City Attorney here. I'm gonna spin around because I want my comments to uh, address the entire room. Uh, before we jump into the public comments, I just wanted to, number one, advise the commission publicly, uh, but number two, just um, let you all understand exactly the role of the Planning and Zoning Commission when it comes to site approval. Um, I've, I've seen online, I know there's been a lot of interest in the site plan approval that's coming up tonight, um, but when it comes to site plan approval, this commission's role um, is not one with a lot of discretion. It is a role, to use a, to use a sports terminology, they are, they're playing the role of a referee here, okay? They look at the site plan and they determine whether it's gonna meet our specs and regulations the same way a referee is gonna decide if a ball went through the uprights or not. Um, so I don't wanna deter any public comments. I certainly wanna hear everything that you all have to say within these confines. Um, we welcome all the feedback. I appreciate everyone coming. This is probably the best attended planning and zoning uh, commission meeting I've ever been to. Um, but we welcome your feedback because it does help our administration govern and we welcome all feedback that we get from our citizens. But I don't want you to be disappointed 
if uh, you're commenting against the approval of a site plan approval, and then later it gets approved because that site plan meets those specs and regulations, okay? Uh, any questions from the commission? Thank you. So if you'd like to speak for or against the location for LQ Warehouse, White Davis Associates requesting site plan approval, we'd like uh, the developers to come forward and speak first, if you could, or just do the comments, let's just do some comments then, and limit to three minutes per comment. Let's open up the comments. Everybody rush forward, all right. Are you ready for citizen? Yes, public comment. Public comments. If you would approach the public. Oh, okay. <laughs> to work for the benefit of our city. And that's why I'm here tonight. We are all here tonight. We are here to help, help us see the vision of our city continue to grow and to be shaped by the decisions we here. This past Saturday evening, my wife and I attended the premier event at the Bryant Performing Arts Center. We walked into that beautiful facility. My pride in our city soul. Bryant is a great place to live and raise a family. Our mayor tells Bryant as a place where you and your family can expect more. He extols Bryant's reputation for providing quality schools, maintaining a safe community, and offering well-planned subdivisions and neighborhoods, all to which I say, indeed. The planning department's mission statement that I want to remind you of this evening is to enhance the quality of life for the citizens of Bryant by providing a department which encourages quality growth and economic development, redevelopment, and the stabilization of our neighborhoods. To that end, the zoning codes R1S and R2 that are in my area both speak to these districts being intended to provide for quiet, low to medium density residential areas for attractive, functional neighborhoods. The mayor has said that Bryant provides a unique quality of life and that offers the charm of a small town while providing the amenities of a larger city. All of which are true until we allow the building of this warehouse project at the Raymar location. I do understand the city has to grow to remain viable and healthy. But that growth must be managed as so to protect the image of the city and the quality of life of the citizens. There are other tracks of land where this project would fit and would be welcome, such as near the airport. Building this project, the entrance to our city sends the wrong message to the tens of thousands of people who daily travel the I-30 corridor. Not to mention that the 24-hour-a-day operation would stand in violation of our existing noise ordinances, noise ordinances specifically 7.68.02. Further, since there's been no study done on the impact of traffic flow in the area after the opening of Bryant Parkway and your current, your recent rezoning of 40 acres to R2, just up the road, which I have 100 homes, this could become a significant problem to the city to need to address. Members of this commission, yours is a difficult task to balance the economic needs of businesses and the projected quality of life of residents. 
such test requires courage. Courage to sometimes say no to see something better brought forth. I pray for each of you to continue the work for the benefit of our city as we citizens are doing here tonight, as scripture reminds us to do. Together, we can see Brian continue to grow into the strong and breathtaking city we know her to be. Thank you. Thank you very much. subdivision. I have thoroughly enjoyed living in this peaceful and serene area. Bryant is the personification of that small town that exudes warmth, camaraderie among neighbors, and the convenience of having all of the necessities for living. As a concerned resident of Bryant, Arkansas, I was in complete and utter disbelief when I, along with many other residents, became aware that LKQ, a worldwide distributor of recycled auto parts, wanted to build a warehouse of such magnitude in a residential area the size of not one but five football fields. My first thought with my previous 10 years of experience in real estate, residential, oh my gosh, my heart started racing and I thought, property value, how is this going to negatively affect the residents of Meadow Lake and Lexington Park's property value that we all have worked hard to obtain and reside in. In order to present my concern, as well as the residents of Meadow Lake, Lexington Park, and surrounding neighborhoods, I decided to research and read some studies on how commercial development impacts residential property value. In my find findings, according to a study titled, Commercial development spillover affects residential values, which is a credible, valid study conducted by the Georgia University, and it stated an obvious concern to policymakers was sheer size. Development of greatly in, of greatly, would, could greatly increase the negative spillover effects created by its presence due to traffic, aesthetics, and increased local crime which is often attracted by commercial development. Other studies also concluded that the size of a particular commercial development such as this could be important in affecting neighboring homeowners. Another impact mentioned that a new commercial development depends on the proximity to the residential properties. Bright Planning Commission members, let's face it, the residents of Meadow Lake and surrounding neighborhoods do not want to live by a warehouse that is the size of five football fields. Studies indicate when the development or project offers, doc, excuse me, development project offers upscale amenities or businesses such as coffee shops, small business offices like dentists or doctor's offices, boutiques, bookstores such as Barnes and Noble, or perhaps a beautiful fresh market. Trader Joe's would be great. So I asked, that these types of industries exude the hometown feel as well as aesthetically by pleasing to the eye of visitors and more importantly to the many families that make up the city of Bryant. Thank you, ma'am. My name is Margaret Thompson. I live at 3611 Long Meadow. Bryant Parkway, the new gateway to our city. Our city just spent millions of dollars to build a much needed major artery for our city. Rightfully, 
the city named this overpass Bryant Parkway, announcing to the 100,000 daily commuters who travel the I-30 corridor that they are entering the city of Bryant. But now our city is proposing to build a 300,000 square foot warehouse, which will be one of the largest buildings in Saline County. A project of this magnitude will set the stage for all future building in that 105 acre site. Apparently, our city wants to become known as a warehouse district. The city proclaims that something has to be built in this area. We can't just keep saying no. And I completely agree. However, the fact that all commercial project proposals have been hotly protested is telling us something. It is telling us that the zoning for that piece of property is wrong and needs to be changed. I want to propose a new solution to move us out of this stalemate. I recommend that the city work with the owner of this property and rezone the section of land directly north of Meadow Lake and west of Lexington Park to residential zoning C2, R2, excuse me, residential zoning R2. Both the Lexington Park and Andres Park subdivisions have demonstrated that beautiful quality homes can be built in this area. I recommend that the smaller section of property directly across from Raymar Fields be changed to civic use and this site become the new City of Bryant Municipal Complex. A striking modern municipal complex right at the Bryant Parkway overpass will set the tone for who Bryant is and what Bryant wants to become. City of Bryant, now is the time to put our best foot forward for our city. Bryant Parkway is the opportunity for us to proclaim to everyone who we are as a city and as a people. We are not a warehouse district. Thank you.